So here it is, Valentine's Day. Can't find a sitter, and let's be honest, even if we could, we couldn't afford to pay them and go out. So what do we do? We stay in. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that should be mine? Tater bug, tater bug, eat my potatoes, tater bug. Angie the Caver's Wife, welcome to my channel. For the month of February, Frugal Family Food is going to be bringing you romantic dinner ideas that you can do right at home. Now, for my husband and I, we're not fancy. It doesn't take very much to make us happy. So my thinking is that for a lot of us, we're gonna be at home on Valentine's Day, and then when the kids go to bed, that's when we break out the good food, right? So I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of our favorite fun foods. In fact, these are fun foods that you could even make for the Super Bowl party this weekend. Go Falcons. I'm gonna bring you in and show you what I'm going to make for my honey and I after we put the kids to bed, when we snuggle up on the couch and watch some of our favorite shows together. All right, so how I'm going to serve this pizza dip for me and my honey tonight is I bought this French baguette at Aldi and I think it was like $1.49 or something like that. So I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees and um, I'm just gonna throw it in there and I'm gonna get this nice and toasty and then I'm gonna slice it on the diagonal to make it look fancy. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this straight on the baking rack. I set my timer for four and a half minutes so that way I don't forget about it. Okay, so what I've got in the bowl here is I've got eight ounces of the new factual cheese because remember I am watching my points, although I don't know how many points this is gonna have in it just yet. So I'm using the new factual cheese, all eight ounces. Now to this, I'm going to season it. Okay, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic. I'm going to use some of our homegrown basil that we dehydrated this summer. It smells so good, like a half a teaspoon. A little bit goes a long way with this. Okay, I'm also going to use a half a cup of Parmesan cheese that I'm using the canned stuff because like I said, we aren't fancy, okay? And then I'm gonna use a huge handful of this Italian style. So this is probably about a cup or so, half a cup of cheese. That's the Italian finely shredded cheese, just like that. And remember, part of uh, what I'm trying to accomplish is something that's gonna be quick, so that way you can maybe throw it together, then get the kids in bed, and then, um, then have this ready to go into the oven. Gonna give that bread two more minutes. So that'll make a total of six and a half minutes. So to this, I'm gonna add, this is turkey pepperoni from Aldi, which is very, very low in points. I'm gonna just kinda tear them, tear them into pieces here. I was on uh, Southern Mama's Coffee Break this morning and we were talking about mommy confessions. And one of the confessions was that we don't, that we like to snack after the kids go to bed because we don't want to share. So I'm just kind of tearing them into quarter. There's the bread. I'm going to set it aside. Okay, so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little cast iron Dutch oven. I'm gonna spray it. This is organic um, canola oil nonstick spray. And I'm just gonna spray that really well. And then I'm gonna dump this in. Can you see what I'm doing? And 
then we're just gonna kind of press that down at the bottom. So now I'm going to top this with the sauce. You can use pizza sauce, but I'm gonna be using the Aldi, um, well I got this at Aldi, it's the Simply Nature um, organic marinara sauce. I love this because it doesn't have um, corn syrup or anything like that in it. It's nothing but vegetables. So I'm going to pour this over and you're not going to use all of it. So you can use some of it for another dinner. Then you're going to top this just like you would a pizza. So if you wanted to add more um, toppings other than the pepperoni, you could add onions, bell peppers, olives. So now, oh, after I took the um, bread out of the oven, I backed the temperature down on the um, on the oven. It was at 450, but now I'm taking it down to 350. Okay, so we're just gonna top this with some cheese, more cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some more Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna top it with more pepperoni. you want it to get all melty and bubbly. That was simple enough to throw together what would be a romantic evening without chocolate. So let's get a dessert thrown together. Okay, so like I said, this dessert is so easy. So all you need is a pan. All you need is some semi-sweet chocolate morsels. You could even use, um, oops. You could use uh, Hershey's candy bars if you wanted to. You could also use um, Reese's Butter Cups would also be a really great variation of this. So once you get your chocolate morsels or whatever kind of chocolate that you're using, in the bottom of your pan, you're going to put marshmallows on top. Okay, and this goes in at 350. Both dips go in at 350, so you just whip them up, throw them in the oven. So while the uh, dip is baking in the oven, I'm just gonna take uh, graham crackers and go ahead and break them up into scoopable sticks. Okay guys, so this is just a fun, romantic, cuddling on the couch, watching a movie after the kids go to bed spread. And um, like I said, we're not fancy people. We actually kind of like game night food, so uh, pizza dip and s'mores dip. Looks good. It is good. It looks good. Okay, so let's try it. I'm gonna try it with the, this is baguette bread. Very good. And like I said, not just for Valentine's Day, but this would be a really great Super Bowl, um, Super Bowl food, as long as you're rooting for the Falcons. So now let's try some dessert. Yep. Cheers. Okay. Tastes like a s'more. It does. Okay. Yeah, so good. whether you can go out or whether you stay in, as long as you're with the person you love, it can be romantic. <laughs> okay guys i hope you enjoy this next week we have the one the only 
the chef himself, Mr. M.I. Gardner, is going to be joining our Frugal Family Food lineup. So I know that whatever he makes is going to be amazing. So be sure to subscribe to his channel if you haven't already and tune in next week when he brings us a romantic dinner that he fixes for himself and his lovely wife, Cindy. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time. Hey, thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to share it with your friends, pin it on Pinterest, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, and there's also a subscribe button down there. So if you haven't clicked it already, be sure to do that. Uh, that way you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Uh, we talk about gardening here, frugal living, homemaking, homeschooling. You know, I cook the occasional food, make the occasional craft. So if you don't want to miss any of it, be sure to click subscribe. Okay, that's it.